Let's start with some breaking news that's coming in. This is the latest update in the Uri rape and murder case. This case of the nine-year-old's body which had been found has been cracked. All the accused have now been arrested. The victim's stepmother and stepbrother are among the ones who have been arrested. The nine-year-old girl in, from Kashmir's Uri was raped and murdered, gang raped in fact, in the most inhuman way. The decomposed body of the girl was found in the forest area with some of her internal organs missing and her eyes gouged out. Let's in fact go across to Farid uh, who's been tracking this case. Uh, Farid, this is absolutely shocking the kind of that entire press release, the details that have emerged of this case, uh, this entire conspiracy which was hatched by this girl's stepmother and then carried out by her son, this girl's stepbrother and his friends. Yes, that's right. It is uh, inhuman, uh, to say the least. It's own chilling account that is uh, that the police has brought out of uh, this uh, heinous crime. The conspiracy, according to police, was hatched by uh, the stepmother with the help of her son and aid. And the way they went ahead with this uh, has shamed humanity. There's no doubt about it. Uh, according uh, to the police, they have arrested all of them. In fact, it was a family acrimony. Uh, the stepmother did not like uh, her husband's uh, uh, behavior, or should I say, closeness, uh, proximity with uh, the first, with the second wife and her child, and that uh, is the only thing that led to this absolutely senseless uh, case of uh, such a killing brutality. And uh, the account that the police uh, has brought out suggests that uh, she, the poor girl, was first raped by uh, the uh, son of the stepmother and uh, her friends, and then finally. She was uh, killed in the most brutal manner. Acid was thrown on her. And then to add to uh, that, eyes, uh, her eyes were gouged out. So this is uh, unprecedented brutality, barbarism. And the police say that they have uh, complete details of uh, the case now, how uh, exactly it panned out, how they did it. And also uh, the weapons that were used uh, for in this brutal murder have also been recovered. So in totality, the case has been cracked by the police. All uh, the people involved in this, including the stepmother, uh, her uh, son and all the friends who were uh, used in this, all of them have been arrested. So the police say the case has been cracked, but uh, in many ways, this is something that has never, ever been seen, at least uh, in that, that part of the Kashmir Valley. So this is this was absolutely shocking, and uh, there was a lot of pressure on the police uh, to bring out results, and that's exactly what they've done. Uh, and in 24 hours, they have managed to crack this case. Absolutely. Uh, Farid, stay with us. Just for our viewers, I want to take them through some of the details that are mentioned in this press release. This girl was gang raped uh, by her own stepbrother and his friends. And then she was strangulated, like Farid was pointing out, uh, acid uh, was thrown onto her body. Uh, she was killed. And then her, her uh, internal organs, some of them were uh, taken out. Her eyes were gouged out. Uh, and uh, at this point, all the, the material and the weapons that were used, uh, the, and she was also hit on the head with an axe. The axe and the knife, uh, which were all used to murder her, have all been recovered. Uh, Farid, if you can also help us understand what is the background uh, to, this, uh, entire, uh, to this entire murder as well. Why did it well, happen? seems to be... There seems to be a family acrimony. Uh, the, the, the person, father of this uh, innocent poor child, had uh, married, in fact, married twice. It seems that the second, uh, uh, the first wife did not like uh, his closeness, his proximity, and uh, his behavior with the second wife and uh, her child. And that's the only thing that led to this. So this, uh, uh, that's why I called it absolutely senseless. Uh, uh, the way they went ahead on on, on a matter that uh, was uh, that 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 really uh, cannot warrant such a thing happening now. Uh, the police say that this was that that was the only thing that led to this. So they hatched a conspiracy on and on the second day of it, uh, the stepmother somehow managed to get the child out of the house, take her to the forest area where she had already put her son uh, and uh, uh, his, his friends were already there. They had hatched this conspiracy. Uh, she was hit with an axe. Then, uh, in fact, they raped her. Uh, and after that, there was acid that was brought in to uh, ensure that the body is in a very bad shape once the police uh, get to the body. So it was well planned in the sense that they did not want to leave any evidence. In fact, uh, as we have been reporting, even uh, the post-mortem did not give much to the police because uh, the internal organs were taken away. Police could not, uh, 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 through that, verify the cause of the death and whether there was a sexual assault or not. Uh, the body right. was decomposed as well. So in multiple ways, it is heinous, it's shocking, and this shames humanity. But uh, yes, 
some reprieve for the family uh, as far as the father and the mother of the child is concerned as the case has been cracked and all the culprits are now behind bars. Uh, thanks, uh, Farid, for taking us through all those details.